Hello there. Um, I asked if this was worth, worth reacting to, and someone said it had. There was a good first and last quarter, so and it was high scoring, so that's why I considered it. Let's go. Scoop it up off half back was Fox. Good hands from Murphy and Saligo tumbles one in there. Brilliant hands over the top and Fogarty. Nice. Back for the Crows. Brilliant. And that is anybody. That is a real challenge because he can get you on the ground. It's fairly quiet atmosphere wise, <laughs> especially compared to what I just watched <laughs> between the Magpies and the D's. Sorry, not the D's. Sorry, the Dons. My bad. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to the SCG. I'm going on a day trip to Sydney from Melbourne when I'm on holiday. Um, couldn't get to a game, unfortunately. Just schedules. Had to like look at schedules and see what I could go to. Oh, nice. But I'm going to Sydney for a day and I'm going to the SCG for a tour during that day. So, <laughs> should be fun. I mean, it's, it's, it's a bit like pinball. Maybe that's not the best comparison, but it was going... It's changing hands all the time. Sydney had a good start. Maybe not quite as good a start as Collingwood, but a start, a good start. Nice one. Is he alright? Is he just frustrated or is he injured, injured as well? Yeah, normally. I mean, he could have missed, you never know, you know, if these things happen. He did. 50 points. I see what I see what you were saying. I can't remember who it was, but when you commented like this game's worth it because what happened at the start and the end. I see what you were saying. 50 points in the first quarter. You're mad. <laughs> Adelaide still made it close as well. Like not not like very close, but you know a lot closer. At the moment it just looks like a, it just looks like a Sydney training session. <laughs> Or like a training match, I guess. Hey, you got a match against the reserves. Let's go. That's a, that's a damn good kick. Magnificent. The Crows on the comeback. But not quite, because they lost. Nice one. Is it an obligation to put that big McDonald's sign <laughs> at the Sydney ground? There's one at Gold Coast as well, isn't there? Like, why is it those specific teams? <laughs> nice one. Because they, they have a deal with like the whole of the AFL, right? I'm, I'm fairly certain. Well, unless I'm wrong. Oh, there we go. Maybe they said, hey, look, Gold Coast, red and yellow, Sydney, red. Let's put McDonald's sign at, this, at their stadiums. That, that, that will sell more burgers. Ah. That was good. The Crows have scored some good goals. You know, I honestly can't tell if the fans are having a good time or not. <laughs> Is it just me? I don't know. It feels like I'm watching... Um, Community series. Ah, oh, nice one. I mean the atmosphere by wise by the way. I don't mean like the game. The game is entertaining. I mean like atmosphere wise. <laughs> but maybe I'm just comparing it to Magpies Dons. Buddy! How many is he on now? I've, I've, I just stopped counting when he hit a thousand. <laughs> 
this is another significant goal potentially for Franklin. He's got time to make it 1,032 for Buddy Franklin. I was waiting for that. Gary Ablett Senior in trademark fashion. Gary Ablett, he's gone past Gary Ablett Senior. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's big. <laughs> Gary Ablett Senior was insane. So is the current Gary Ablett as well. <laughs> They have some crazy genes, those two. <laughs> I, I don't know what's in the genes of the Ablett family, but they're incredible. That the Crows have scored some, some, some good, <laughs> long-range goals. <laughs> Although it seems like they're more consolations, though, considering what happened, uh, the final score at the end. But still. Nice one. I feel like if 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 the Swans didn't have such a good start, it might have been quite a close game. Because Adelaide came back a little bit. They they reduced the margin at least, and they kept up with the Swans. I felt for three quarters at least, maybe, at least in the second half anyway. If they hadn't started so badly. Maybe the Crows might have done something. I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> the game was the game was decided in the first quarter. It seems. There we go. That's the killer. Adelaide scored for eight, 85, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. That was good timing. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Franklin is in a is in a line of good names. He, he might be. I mean, I know I've, I've asked, I've said this like so many times, and I'm not the only one who said it. A lot of people have said it. He might be one of the last players, maybe the last player to hit a thousand goals. Maybe, maybe. I think it's still possible someone can come along. Like, you know, somewhere down the line there'll be someone who'll score like so many goals per season. Then you realise, oh. He could be the next guy, but at the moment it just seems like, oh, what if he's the last to hit a thousand? It's possible, right? Like, the days of players scoring that many goals, it was kind of decades ago. I think that that's, that's part of why, like, him hitting it is so big. Like, who's even close to hitting it right now apart <laughs> that's playing right now? It's actually insane. Uh... It's, it's something crazy. <laughs> that achievement is crazy. Uh, but yeah, and he's been at a, playing at a good level, you know, for all these years. So, yeah, that's pretty good. So, yeah, as I said, if you want reactions to Port Geelong and the Q Clash, let me know and I can do them. But I need to work on stupid idiots as well. So I have a day off work on Wednesday, so I'm going to use that day and uh, find some of your silly tips. Don't delete anything now. I mean, I guess if you do, you get away with it, but let's just... It's all a joke, remember, all right? <laughs> One of the issues of that series is people take it too seriously, and then it's just like, ah, he's taking it so seriously, it's meant to be a joke. Uh, m most of you get it, though, most of you get it. It's just that some people, you know... And it's fine, you know, people find different things funny, but, like, some people are just like, how dare you come after me? And I'm just like, it's a joke. I promise you, it's for fun. I'm just playing a character. But anyway, I, I say playing a character. I break that character so many times. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya.